Think about summer weather this weekend, Joseph. Yeah, it's Not cold outside. Like it. yeah. yeah, upper 40s right now because of this shower that moved on through. But we have snow up on the mountain. We've been talking about that for, you know, just about all day and uh, all of last night. And we have some thunderstorms here too. We'll start with the thunderstorm activity because uh, this is what is going to be impacting you here in the short term. And we've seen this thunderstorm develop right here uh, in areas of Washington, moving down to the southwest. It kind of spreads apart there, and then little pieces of energy kind of spawn off this one cell. But you can see the lightning along with it. And at times there's been some hail, uh, heavy rain, strong wind. We've had reports of uh, wind activity kind of causing some problems here close to Portland. So we'll continue to uh, get some updates on that, but expect some hail associated with this. That cool air aloft is going to allow for these thunderstorms to exist as we head into the evening hours. OK, we're at 515 here. You can see Salmon Creek. We had one heavy, heavy shower right over Interstate 5 uh, just about five, 10 minutes ago. Now noticing that is kind of spreading apart here and moving off to the west. Now, uh, most of these cells are moving to the southwest very slowly and they're not traveling very far to the west. Uh, a lot of this is going to continue to stay about Interstate 5 corridor and maybe to the east for the exception of what we have going on here. We have Beaverton, uh, very light rain. You're kind of missing out on the thunderstorm activity that we had with that cell a little bit earlier today, but do expect the rain there if you are going to be stepping out here shortly. OK, 515 here just off to the south near Canby. We had a good cell that's now to the southwest towards Aurora. Again, this is traveling towards the southwest, so areas of Interstate 5 here will probably get kind of wet here shortly. As you can see, this cell that's packing uh, some heavy rain right here. Maybe a little bit of lightning and hail too is moving down to the southwest. Now as they continue to travel, they're going to lose a little bit of energy. But as we head into this evening, still possibility for more thunderstorms to develop. We have this area of low pressure right here, this upper level low and this trough that's moving on in and it's allowing for the cooler air to slide on through. But it's a counterclockwise flow here. And so you can see that these showers can be moving up to the northeast there, but down to the southwest on the northwest quadrant of this area of low pressure and that's where they're kind of sliding in and they're gathering up some energy from the sunshine that we had this afternoon here in the Willamette Valley and allowing for these thunderstorms to kind of fire on up. Here's another way to visualize this. We have an upper level winds graphic here. We can see the wind arrows going on and notice that once they hit about the Willamette Valley, they kind of start swooping down to the south, maybe southwest a little bit. And this is what's steering those thunderstorms. So they are going to be moving in from the northeast and traveling down to the southwest and then and they're going to kind of hit a wall there. Uh, so most of this activity is going to stay away from the Oregon coast. With that rain that moved over Portland, we've seen about two tenths of an inch, but possibilities of more as we head into this evening. Notice not much really occurring on the east side of the state. All right, how about some of these views? I mean, Portland, we had that dark, ominous look for a while, but now some blue sky, clamma, beautiful, and up on the mountain, some snowfall where there's a winter weather advisory until 6 p.m. tomorrow, still anticipating those low snow levels to about 3,000 feet tonight, which could produce maybe a couple more snow showers as we head into the overnight hour. OK, we get into our Sunday and Monday. It does dry up a bit and that goes for Tuesday as well. So after our Sunday, we have this span of time where we're not going to worry about uh, any sort of rain or snow, but it will be around for the overnight hours. Seven day forecast 56 tomorrow, 61 and mostly sunny on Monday, 65 on Tuesday. Still cool, still like fall still below average this week. Oh my gosh, it's hard to believe. I feel like we uh, went straight from winter or summer into winter yeah, this weekend. Not but. much of a transition, you know, yeah. but uh, we have more action going on probably this evening. I'll have updates on social media and the rest of the show. Of course. All right, hope you unpacked all the winter gear from the coat closet. Yeah, thanks Joseph. Sure. Still to come on.